Okay, we're pretending now. This is a pretend beehive that you have now screened in. And now the bees are trapped inside and you want to take this hive home with you. You need to get this clamp around it. And here we go. Notice I have to tip the beehive forward. You may have to have your hive tool because the beehive may be stuck to its, uh, its stand. You'll have to pry under there and get it loose so you can tip forward and get the strap under the middle. Here's a tricky issue. The uh, you got all this extra strap. You don't want it there in the clamp. You've got to fold it and put the bent part into the clamp. So you have to practice this before you've got people waiting on you. You've got to practice. And even when you practice, your fingers might not do what they're supposed to do. There we go, I think I got it. Got to go around enough to grab. So you can make adjustments. Make sure it's under the middle. Both sides. Remember, you got bees in here, but they're they're screened. You better check that duct tape a few times while you're working. They love to find little ways out, and so you have to tape that duct tape as well as you can. So here we have a tight, tight clamp. Remember, we're pretending the bees are trapped in there. And clamp is tight. With your helpers, you can pick this thing up. Tuck that clamp under there. You could even carry it with the clamp if you wanted to. But it's better to have two people there. Because this is probably, if it was this big, you might be 200 pounds of honeycomb here. Don't be too casual with it. You could get something jarred and some crack open up and bees start pouring out. So don't treat it like it's a solid thing. Nothing is held together here with nails at all. This is just out of friction. The bees have glued with their bee glue, they've glued everything together, but still it could come apart if you are careless. So carry it as though it can come apart, and then you'll be prepared. You could have strapped the stand, you could have strapped the stand to the beehive, but you don't have to. I think it's better if you don't. It's better in the car, just like that. Anyway, that's it. Good luck.